Welcome to our special Park City Tax Appeal webinar. I'm Ron Wilstein, a broker at Keller Williams Luxury Properties here in Park City, Utah. By now you should have received your property tax notice from Summit County and you want to review it carefully. The good news is property values have continued to rise. The bad news is so are your taxes. So this is the time that Summit County gives you to look at your tax notice, make sure the valuation is correct, and if not, to appeal it before it's finalized and your tax bill goes out. So what I want you to do now is stop, pause this video, go get your tax notice, and then resume it. There are three important sections on your tax notice to look at. The section dealing with property type, tax amount, and market value. So here's a typical tax notice, and we want to look right over my left shoulder here at the property type. You're either going to see primary improved property, non-primary improved property, or non-primary land. Now land is land. It's undeveloped. There's nothing on it. That one's simple. What you want to focus on to make sure you get properly classified and properly taxed is, is your property a primary improved property or a non-primary improved property. Now, primary improved property is a residence, either your own home or it could be a rental property that is rented out long term to someone else as their primary rental. It really needs to be a year or more. But that's an important distinction between the non-primary improved property, which is perhaps a second home or a rental property that's in a nightly rental program. It's important for this to be classified. Correctly, and this is the reason why. Looking to the right, you see the market value section. This is what the Summit County Assessor has assigned to your property. Directly to the right of that, you'll see a lower value, and this applies when it's a primary improved property. The good news is you actually are only paying tax on 55% of the value of your property if it's a primary residence. This 45% reduction is a huge benefit. So if your property is being uh, used as a primary residence, but it's marked on your tax form as a non-primary, you want to get that corrected right away so you can get that 45% reduction. To do so, you want to use this form, a statement of primary residence, provided by the Summit County Assessor's Office. You can do it online if you want. The form looks like this, and the address is here at Primary Residency Signed Statement Form. Just go to that address and scroll down a little bit and you'll find the form. Next we want to look at the bottom line. <clears throat> Let me get out of the way here so you can see it. The bottom line here is the taxes you will be paying. And it's really broken into three categories. The first one is what were the taxes last year? This is the starting point. If this is a new property that you just now own. You can see what they paid previously prior to your ownership. You then want to compare that with this number in the column to the right. And this is if there's no substantial increases. Values may have gone up slightly, but then no major increase in the budget. This is what you can expect to pay for the new year. If the proposed budget by Summit County is approved, then this value here is what you'll be paying. So this will give you an idea of how much to expect to pay at the end of November for your property taxes. Now returning to the market value section, this is what I want you to look at. Does this number look right for your property? If this number is too high, then that's a situation where you want to appeal that number. You have until September 15th, or if that falls on a weekend, the Monday that follows, in order to appeal, appeal your taxes. If you wait until the next day, it's too late. You'll have to wait for next year. So you want to act promptly. If you find that this number is not correct, there's a form that Summit County provides. It looks like this. And this is a request to appeal your pro real estate property market value. So you want to fill this out. And of course, there's an online form that you can use. And here's the address. Board of Equaliz Equalization online form. Again, scroll down a little bit on the page. And you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to complete that form for the deadline. Now, what you need to do to appeal your property tax valuation is a couple of things. First, you want to determine if the value assigned to your property is too high. You want to look at that, see if it seems like the right value. 
But you're looking at this notice either in August or early September. And what you need to realize is that this is the value as of January 1st of this year. So in order to appeal your tax, you're going to need to come up with supportive closed sales prior to January 1st of this year, the previous year. That may be easily available to you. You could hire an appraiser to come up with that information or consult a realtor. It's a lot of different ways to get that information, but you'll need it in order to make a case. And then what you'll need is you'll need all the details of the supportive properties for your appeal. What are the distinguishing characteristics so that you can show that your property has been overvalued and that should be adjusted before the deadline. I want to wrap up by sharing with you about our 100% risk-free tax appeal service. You must show the county assessor that your property is worth less than the value that they have assigned to it. What was the value of your property on January 1st of this year? You need to know that. We put together a case for you and present it to the county assessor on your behalf. There's a fee for this. The tax application fee is $189. The thing that you want to realize is that this is risk-free in that if we don't reduce your taxes, your initial $189 application fee is fully returned to you. So there's no risk whatsoever on it. If you wish to use our service, email your tax notice to us. Let us take a look at it. If, after we look at it, we feel that you qualify for a tax appeal, we'll let you know, and then you can decide if you want to utilize our services or handle your tax appeal by yourself. The tax appeal fee, as I mentioned, is $189. If we're not successful at lowering your taxes, the fee is fully refunded to you. If we are successful at lowering your taxes, you pay us a success fee in the amount of one-third of the tax amount we save you. So you're never out of pocket. And once we save you that amount, unless the county adjusts it again next year, which sometimes they do, but more times they don't, then that's going to last for a number of years. You don't need to pay us after the first year, uh, but that's the benefit you derive from our service. We're here to help you. Uh, don't hesitate to give us a call. Send me an email, ron at the willsteinteam.com. want to save you some money if you're entitled to it. In wrapping up, if you're interested in knowing what's happening in the Park City real estate market, you can anytime go watch our Park City Market Talk webinar at buyparkcity.com. It is updated monthly, so you always have current information. Let me just show you how to do it real quickly. <clears throat> Here is our website, buyparkcity.com, the home page. Just scroll down a little bit, and you'll come to this image of my shoulder here. Uh, this happens to be the current month's Market Talk webinar that changes every single month. Click on it. It opens up and you can watch that. It's about 15 or 20 minutes. Gives you an update on what's happening in the real estate market and uh, talks about current information that is applicable at that time of the recording. With that in mind, uh, you can also get a free property value assessment. This is different than the tax appeal amount. Tax appeal amount, as I mentioned, is the value as of January 1st of this year. A property value assessment is the current value whenever you ask for it, and there's no cost for this, uh, just call me or send me an email, and I'm happy to provide you with that information or answer any questions you have about the real estate market. Thank you for watching our webinar. I hope it's helpful, and I hope you save some money on your property taxes.